Hi everybody, it's Micheline from Michelle Makes again and it is Monday. Monday, June the June June the June the June the June the June the fifteenth. Fifteenth of June. Monday the fifteenth of June. I should know that because all the shops are open today. Um I have today I haven't I had promised you that I would do a, a fabric haul and a pattern haul. The patterns I had, but the fabric, some of the fabric I'd received and some of the fabric I didn't. I ordered it can you see can you see down here? There's two little ears there. She sat right in front of me. Anyway, um, I ordered the fabric on May the 25th. And as I say, it's now the 15th. And I just today wrote to the company because I know that Royal Mail is incredibly slow. And I wrote to the company to say, where is my fabric? Because it hasn't arrived. And then 10 minutes later, the postman came. And he was carrying 10 packages for me and for him. Most of them were for me, <laughs> and uh, so quite a bit of it was fabric, and uh, so I thought I'd show you what I've got. Now then, the first thing is not fabric, but I took a fancy to this. I have, I'm, I'm actually in front of my window of my little room, and with a cat here on my table that you can see here he is, and um, the sun's shining, but on, I didn't have a little window ledge, and his lordship's put one there for me. And I have some a little pot there that's full of tools. I've got my some a lace curtain behind it, and it was some lace that I showed you a long time ago. I think it would be two years ago, two or three years ago, that I bought on eBay for ninety nine pence, and it came all the way from China. And I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And other people had bought it and made dresses with it, but this was just about. It's not even a metre width, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> it's the width of my window, which is probably that wide. That's not a, I don't think that's even a metre or a yard. Might be a yard. And I didn't know what to do with it. So, when we started sorting out this uh, she shed for me, I decided that I'd put it to the window, to the, put it, use it as a curtain. And I'll turn around to let you see. You might not, it's not really that good to see there, but it's a see, it's, we're looking at it the wrong way around, but it's got the one with all the little embroidered flowers on. And there's my little shelf that, yes, has yet to be painted. And there's my pot with some pretend flowers and a few tools on. And um, I just thought, I suddenly was, I was going through, and put your back, because I've got your balance on top of my sewing machine. Right. Oh, so I was because oh god. <laughs> so because it was I was bored one time. I started going through eBay, and I came across this, and I thought, oh, I'm going to get this. I was actually looking for something a little bit bigger than this, but I thought it was rather nice, and it's just arrived today, and it is. A little sewing treadle. It's really for a doll's house, I think, and a little chair. And I figured that that will go on my little window ledge. A little sewing machine with a little chair. It's, as I say, it's really for a doll's house, but I thought it was nice. I was looking at little miniature sewing machines, pretend ones. Uh, that little wheel turns. It's not bad, I think. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think I, I, think I bid for it, actually. Or I believe it was something about six or seven pounds, or maybe an eight pounds with a postage. I'm not sure, but I just thought that will go nice on my little windowsill. So that's the first package that came. What are you doing? Are you sniffing me? Are you just purring away like mad? Aren't you? Yes. And then uh, the second package that came was. Um, now then my daughter my granddaughter uh my granddaughter started sewing i think i've told you i've been doing a bit of long distance teaching <laughs> it's not been easy but anyway she's sewing the much the main problem was getting the sewing machine going and she's been following the instructions on the pattern doing fine i think she's going to start making a mask for herself uh oh. You can't get anything done because the cats are here. Little little troubles come as well. And when she sees the white ones here, she won't want to be here. What's the matter? What? 
anyway, I'm going to try and talk amongst this meowing and purring and everything. Um, so anyway, she asked for if I could get her a pattern. And so the pattern that I got her, I've sent it down, but I'll put a picture up there or up there. I'll put a picture up there. If I move here, I'll get the pictures up there. It'll be easier. And the pattern that she wanted was, a, it's a girl's pattern. A girl's, this cat's sitting on me piece of paper. <sighs> it's hard work. The the pattern I got for her was M7942 and it's a skirt and a top. Looks pretty easy enough for her to do. I'm not sure if it's an easy pattern but um, I just figured she might enjoy use it, doing that one. So I sent that down to her and she was looking for fabric and she wanted a, an ice blue fabric and we saw a nice one but it was a way, it was about 20 pound a meter and I I looked at the measurements I think she needs a meter and a quarter and I said look I think you need with it being your first attempt I think you need to try on some cheap fabric first and see how it goes and if it turns out right then yes I'll get you the expensive fabric but I don't want to waste that much money on it on good fabric on when somebody's just learning but the same website I happened to see that they had some fabric on offer and I like the colour of it. You know I'm into purples a bit. So this came and it's from a company called, there she is, I don't know if you can see that, I'll put that, again I'll probably pop it up there, Sew Me Sunshine. And the lady, oh do you know I can't remember her name, it was on the packet. Lisa from that, Sew Me Sunshine. And the fabric that I saw was this, and it's a purple. It's like a georgette and when I first got out I thought oh that's lovely and it is it's lovely it's really nice I think it was about six pound a meter or something but when I've just looked at it it's very thin very very thin so let me it's like a very, almost like a, a chiffon -y type of thing so if I do it I don't know if you'll be able to see that there if I turn it that way and I hold it up like that can you see through it? Can you see there? If I move like that, you can see through it. So it's gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. There you go. No. Will you shift? Go on. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I was, uh, I think I got, how much did I get? Two metres? Two metres. So I've, I've, I've might make some kind of a, a some kind of a summer jacket that I can wear over the top of a dress. Summer jacket, top of the top of a dress. We're not going to get any summer, are we? Because well, we're going to get summer, but we're not going to be able to go out and enjoy it. Um, no, I shouldn't say that. I'm, I'll, I'll, I shall debate what I'm going to make with it anyway. Uh, haven't decided. Very very nice fabric. As I say, I had an idea roughly what I want, but I think I'm, I may have to line it or change the idea of what I'm going to make. Then, this is from, it doesn't say who it's from, they don't stick pieces of paper in. Oh they? Then I got from, oh no it's not Lucy, it's super soft cotton batting and, oh it smells lovely. Oh smell it, smell it. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I don't know if it's the bag or the fabric. It's the fabric. And I don't know who this is from, but it says it's super soft cotton. Cotton wadding with scrim. Made with long staple cotton, no chemicals, no bleaching. Uh, machine or hand quilt up to 10 inches apart. I don't know why, I think I bought this for to put in, pad into uh, face ma masks. But it's taken so long to come that um, the masks are all made. But it's cotton batting as well and I could prob I, I can make it if I want to quilt something. So that's one and it was a, as I said, oh, that, it is absolutely gorgeous. They must wash it or something and oh, unless it's, no, it's, it's gorgeous, it's really nice. So that's that. Then this one was... Just filling up, I don't have much in the way of plain fabrics. 
and I really don't know why I bought this because I was tidying up some of my fabrics and I, and I came across some exactly the same and it's just like a cotton poplin that I got a maroon colour I've got, already got a maroon uh, these two I don't have though this is more of a khaki colour khaki green which I do like I don't know if that's showing up very well in this light and the other one is a black and I think I just got a metre of each of them just to fill up my stocks uh, just to fill up the boxes and things for plain fabric uh, I don't think you can go wrong with a plain fabric so I was looking at all I've been sorting all the fabrics out and I have a lot of fat quarters an awful lot of fat quarters and a lot of them are patterned ones so I really need to I, I felt I really needed some kind of plain ones to go with them so that was that one then this is this is the parcel I've been waiting for now there's some other stuff to go to come and I'll go and get it. Hang on a second. Right, well, the, this is the other fabric that I... Oh, there's some missing. Hang on a second. <laughs> right. Um, do you remember the shirt material I got for my granddaughter to make a top with? And I said that I wasn't happy with it. I went and got some different... The same pattern, but different. And this one is a finer cotton. Very similar to the other one. It's still fairly stiff but it's not as thick and as stiff as the other one um so i think that's going to turn out quite nice as well i did ask her if she'd take a picture of herself wearing it and she sent me two pictures and i don't know what this 11 is about this uh this stranger things I, well i have watched i watched the first episode and it was weird my son said mom you must watch this and it was a bit he said it was a bit like um what he say, E.T. and something else. But I didn't think, I started watching and I'm thinking, this is nothing like E.T. <laughs> so anyway, she sent me a picture of herself, two pictures. And she's kind of like that, with this, with this shirt on. Or oh, like that. And on her face, I'm going, what's that down your nose? And she'll put pretend blood down there. And I'm thinking, oh God, what on earth? This is a young girl dressed like that, looking like, a zombie <laughs> the kids watch strange programs these days so anyway i've got this other one i'm gonna make she loves the shirt and i said i'd make her another one on reflection i wish i'd got a different pattern because apparently this character called 11 wears two tops she wears a blue psychedelic -y top and the yellow one i should have probably gone for the psychedelic but i i realized that after i'd ordered them so that's that i've got to make then the next one now this is a batch of fabrics that i got the first one now you know i i also got fabric some more fabrics from jenny through year but it, i i would show you them and i can show you them they're all jerseys but i figured it's kind of boasting if you lot can't get the fabric so um i was finding other places on ebay that may sell fabric and i've come across these the first one is this one and this is a cotton it's not a jersey it's a cotton but i figured it would make a lovely dress don't know if you can see that there or get a big a view of it like that if i stand up on me there um this one this cost four pound a, uh, yeah four pound a meter but you have to buy four meters for some reason they sell them in lengths and for four meters i paid 16 pounds and i had three pound postage to pay so that for four meters i paid 19 pounds altogether including the postage it's a bit like cotton poplin it's really nice fabric and i think i think it's going to make up into a nice dress and as i say you had to buy four meters there's a few it's like a uh, uh, not a fuchsia pink. yeah a bit like a fuchsia pink there's greens there's navy the background is navy and as one lady said considering you don't like green you wear a lot of green <laughs> and she's right you are right i've started wearing a lot of green i don't know why maybe it's because it's mixed in with other colors that it makes you know I, probably i don't like the plain greens but i do like that and from the same company which is JJ Textiles. I'll put the name below. It'll be on eBay and also on 
I think they've got a website. You had to buy again four meters, and four meters cost me twelve pounds. And this is called the one that we just looked at is navy pink flowers and leaves, and this one is called pink Hawaii flowers. It's a hundred percent viscose, and it's a summer printed dress fabric. And this is this one. I think this is lovely. This as well. I don't know if you can see it. I'll open it out a bit to let you see. There. It's got browns and pinks again, but it's mixed with turquoises, pinks and reds. So I think that that will make a nice dress again for the summer. And again, you have to buy four metres. So four metres is a lot of fabric. I suppose if you don't use it all, you could sell it on eBay, what you've got left. Or, or you could offer it to one of the, another member of the family that sews. But that is really nice. Then the next one is um, this one. Let me find my piece of paper because I've, I've printed them all out so I know exactly what I've, where I bought them from. Um, the next one is from JJ Textiles again. Four metres, it was £16. And now I ordered this afterwards. And so this was £16 plus £3 postage. The other two... Oh no, the other two, they charged me £3 each for the postage as well. So you do pay £3, so I suppose they get their money from that. But this one is a cotton poplin -y type of fabric again. And it's a turquoise colour with flowers. Don't know if you can see that, that's lovely. It will make a lovely dress again. Very nice. Sets your grey hair off, ladies. If you've got grey hair, turquoise sets your grey hair off. So that four meters of that one, sixteen pounds plus three pound postage. Um, they must obviously think that it's cheaper doing it that way. Um, but as I say, it's a lovely. The lovely. Look at the, the flowers. I'm not, I haven't gone close enough for you to see. Sunflowers, daisies, all sorts. I, th I think that's lovely. So there's that one. This is their website on eBay, it's on the eBay site and they're called JJ Textiles Manchester and I shall just scroll down a couple of the pages to let you see what kind of fabrics they have. Some of them are by the metre and some of them are in batches. So um, that one there is four metres, which isn't bad for the price. I'll scroll down again to the bottom. There are some kind of what I would call boring prints, but you might happen to like them. But uh, there are other other fabrics that are quite appealing. There's quite a few pages to go through, so if you don't see anything that you like on this page, go on to the next page. There's the bottom right, that's the one I was showing you. Um, I think that one's not in group in a batch but it might be further on page two shows you more fabric just to let you see and um they also do a lot of wool and some of the wool isn't cheap to be honest there's and that's a nice one there 3.95 and uh, further down here when we go down we've got some wools suiting look at the price of that one there 45 pound to 70 pound wow that's quite expensive but it just gives you an idea of the kind of fabric that they do and what kind of colors and patterns there are available that's not a bad one either well worth looking at then the next one was from textile plaza and that's it in the packet, the textile plaza packet. And this one is high quality floral abstract spun rayon viscose dress print. This cut. This cost. wondering what's happening at the back of her what's happening at the back there what, what what 
What's up, Lego Play? What's up, Day Day Day? <coughs> it's a high quality floral abstract spun rayon viscose dress print fabric craft summer. And I got three meters, or oh, three meters, yes, I got three meters of this. And this again, purple and grey, good, good to show Mac to go with your hair. Purple and grey. And this is what it looked like. So I figured that would make either a nice top or a nice dress. I haven't decided what. Problem is, you know, I've got far too many dresses. I've got far too many clothes. I'm going to have to do a massive clear out. And so the next one, so that was three metres there. Can you tell I was born? I kept saying to him, I've got some fabric coming and it hasn't arrived yet. I don't know what's happening, what's happening. And thankfully he wasn't he was on the phone when it came. Because if he'd seen how much I'd got, he would have probably thought, what on earth are they doing with all that? Anyway, the next one. Um oh I never told you those poly cottons, the ones that are the plain ones, they were $2.99 each. And I can't remember who I bought them from. But they were $2.99. I got them on eBay. Then the last one I got was from Midtext Limited, Midtext Limited, and I got, I can't remember how many I got, three metres, three metres of these, does it say three metres? Midland Textiles they are, and I got three metres, they were six ninety nine a metre each, and it came to £20.97 with the, uh, the shipping was free but you have your VAT on top so far 6 metres at 3 of each it cost me £41.94 and the first one that I got was this one oh this smells nice as well oh do you know I think the this one isn't that beautiful navy blue with lime green and ivory flower do you know what i think it is i think they've been spraying their their fabric before they send it out and it's got the most beautiful smell this has got the same smell as that cotton batting it's not from the same company so i think that they're spraying the fabric with to, to disin kind of with a floral disinfectant oh wow it smells lovely gorgeous anyway this is a this is lovely i like this because it doesn't seem to crease and i think that's going to look absolutely gorgeous when it's made up so that's that one and the other one from the same company is this one and this if i can hold this out again lovely smell and that's this one you see all the pretty colors it's on in it flowers it's a navy it's a navy blue background and i just think isn't that gorgeous if you like that kind of color some of you might be going and say oh i don't like that but i thought that was absolutely lovely and the thing i like about this fabric is some i mean the cotton poplin one will crease when you're wearing it but this you can scrunch it up and do whatever you like and it doesn't crease very much so i really like that but oh God. oh if, if it disinfect all this stuff with this smell it's gorgeous <laughs> it's like room spray like but it's a nice room spray oh it's lovely anyway so those ones are from midland textiles and um as i say the this one is called floral printed rayon viscose poplin oh they're both the same this is ma1255 and this one is ma1252 and this is the midland textile website on ebay again and um Basically, they're called Midland Textiles, and I'll show you the first two pages of the fabrics that they sell again. That's the one that I purchased, top right here, and that's the price, one fifty to six ninety nine. And 
scrolling down. They've got some fabrics that I think must be uh, sale stuff, but there's the other one that I bought. Um, I noticed the B fabric, which was quite pricey years ago. And there, that I like that one. I like that uh, mustardy one. As I was saying, some of the fabrics are, they look like they're last year's or the previous year's uh, popular fabrics that have now been gone out of, not so much out of favour, but people aren't buying as many. And you can get them at a cheaper price. It's page two, scrolling down to let you see what there is. Not, there's some nice ones, camouflage. Um, actually, I do like that. I'll go back up again. I do like that one. There's the green, you see, khaki green, though. I do like khaki green, the army green. Uh, planets. The geese, the goose one. That was very popular a year or two back. And look at the price it is now. Um, and just going down, showing you again what other fabrics there are. The patterns that I have, I've already shown you the pattern that I sent to my daughter. There is another one that I got, which was a, uh, a pattern I've lent to someone, to a friend, whose granddaughter was is expecting. And it's a, bir it's a birder pattern and it's a change pad. A change pad pattern, a, ba a change bag for, for your diapers or for your nappies. I'm trying to find the piece of paper. It was Birder 6623. I'll put a picture up there of it. And then the other ones that I've got are... I got these actually for the granddaughter to choose, but she decided she only wanted the one pattern sent, she, she, down, sent down. She felt that it might confuse her too much if she had too many. So this one is a new look 6289, which are trousers and are... Put the picture up there. Trousers and shorts with a tie belt. I think the waist is... It's elasticated at the back. I think the front isn't isn't elasticated and it's from a size 8 to an 18. I like that. I think they're quite nice. Widish pants and nice shorts. And the other one I got was New Look 6271 and that is very similar. Elasticated pants. This one has shorts and skirt. So there's probably a better value to that one. And this one is sizes 10 to 22. This one, 8 to 18. 8 to 18 for that one, 10 to 22 for that one. Uh, so that caters for the larger sizes as well. And that's the back of it, where it's got elasticated front and back. This one, I forgot to show you the back one. That one's the same thing, elasticated back. I wouldn't be surprised if they're both the same patterns if they're both the same patterns, but on this front one, oh no, in fact that is elasticated. I don't know if you can see this. It's they've got little pleat, little marks there to show that it's elasticated. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if they're actually the same pattern, but they've done a different drawing to show you them and they've added the skirt to this one. So you could you probably might be better off with that one than to that one. But that looks more furnished. But having said that, that's a drawing, and that's the real thing. So those are two pat two nice patterns there. And um, I think I shall leave the things that I've made until tomorrow because I've got a few things that I've made in the way of clothes and I think I've, I've rattled on to you long enough. And I think I'll let you get, get on with you, whatever you're doing now yourself. And I'll catch you next time.